in order to subscribe for my channel please click here or click here please like share and comments on my videos and channel thank you hey guys this is Gaurav welcome to SAS with ServiceNow in this session we are going to talk about ServiceNow SLA configuration and implementation about myself my name is Gaurav Tripathi. I have 9 plus years of experience in IT, which includes experience in ServiceNow architect solutions and project delivery. I love to travel and learn new things. This picture was taken 8 months back in London. What this series is about. In this series, we will learn about overview of SLA types of SLA, configuration of SLA, creation of different SLAs. We will also touch base around reporting an SLA. So if you want to do some reporting on different tables of SLA, you will also learn that. Who should watch the series? ServiceNow administrators, ServiceNow developers, ServiceNow professionals who want to implement the SLA in their organization. Prerequisite Before watching the series of SLA configuration, you should have knowledge of basics of ServiceNow platform. You should also have minimum 6 months of experience in ServiceNow administration. You should have knowledge of ServiceNow fields and forms and the most important thing is table. What is SLA? SLA is service level agreement. It's a contract between service provider and internal or external customers, clients or stakeholders. Your customers and clients can be internal or external. Maybe you are serving your internal employees or maybe you are serving your external employees or your client employees. So SLA is kind of a duration of completion of an activity as per the different scenarios. As an example, if you are or your company is providing a service for service desk for any customer. So let me give you an example between internal and external. So maybe you are part of service desk team and you are providing services to your internal employees where internal employees are calling you for different issues or different requests. Now in how much time you are completing those requests or resolving those issues that is something related to SLAs. That when exactly you are responding the ticket when exactly you are resolving the ticket. That's how SLA is calculated. And it depends on the agreement you have with your internal teams. And if I talk about the external customers, that means you have a particular client and you are part of the service desk team. And your client's employees are calling your team to get the issues resolved. Now, in order to provide that service, you definitely have an agreement, a kind of contract with your customer or client that in how much time you are going to provide those services. If those services can be on response, resolution or completion of a request. That is something related to SLA. The kind of services which you are providing, what agreement you have with your customers or clients in how much time you are going to complete that. Service level management. In order to manage SLAs in ServiceNow, ServiceNow provides an application called Service Level Management. It enables to monitor and manage the quality of the service. There are also service level managers who are responsible for set of agreements between service provider and customer where you have defined some scope, quality, and the speed of the services. 
The service level managers are basically responsible to fulfill the expectation of the client for that particular service. Service level management application can be used for different areas for different units like HR, facilities, IT or any other task which you are creating in ServiceNow are, and you want to manage those tasks and you want to put some SLAs on those tasks that you can manage with the help of service level management application. Roles. ServiceNow provides different roles for service level management application. One of the basic role which we have that is ServiceNow Administrator, which comes by default as part of the platform, which is assigned to ServiceNow Administrators and Developers. Now, if I talk about specific roles for service level management application, then we have SLA Admin. SLA Admin will have full administrative rights to manage service level management application. The role which will be provided to SLA admin would be SLA underscore admin. It's a different role you will find in roles table. So the users who will have SLA admin role, they can configure the service level management application properties. They can run SLA repair. They can view different SLA dashboards. They can manage SLA definitions. And they can also see different workflows but they cannot create workflows. That's an important factor here. So they can manage the whole service level management application. The second role we have is SLA manager. SLA manager can define SLA definitions. They can view SLA repair logs and they can also view SLA overview dashboard. And the role for SLA manager is SLA underscore manager. SLA application menu. As you can see, this is the application called service level management. Under service level management application, you have different modules. The first module we have is getting started. If you will click on this module, it will take you to the ServiceNow product documentation of SLAs. The next module we have under SLA section where you have SLA definitions, where you can create different SLAs definitions in ServiceNow for your tables, for your tasks. Then we have overview module. If you want to see a dashboard kind of a different charts, in that case, you can click on overview, which will show you the dashboard related to SLA. Then we have SLA condition rules that is under administration. Here you can define different conditions rules for SLA. Then we have workflow editor. It's a module if you, it will take you to the workflow section. It is not just specific for SLA. It will take you to the workflow by default of platform, but you can definitely see the SLA workflows. By default, it comes up with two default workflows of, of SLA. Now we have next section is properties where you have modules like SLA engine. What kind of engine you would have for SLA? then SLA logging and then SLA repair. So if you want to change some properties for all these modules, you can just go here in this particular section. The next section we have around repair logs where you have modules like active repairs, all the repairs which are still active, you will see in this particular module. Then you have my repairs. That means if you have created any repair, you can see over this module. Then you have all repairs. So if you are already working as a ServiceNow SLA admin, then in that case, you'll be able to see all repairs. And if you have the repairs, then there are some entries which you create for SLAs that you can see in all repair entries. And then we have the last section that is breakdown section. 
where you define the different breakdowns. We will learn about what exactly this breakdown is in later sections. Let's take a look at how exactly you can work on service level management application in ServiceNow practically in your personal developer instance. So let me show you a little bit about it. This is my personal developer instance. You can see this is the application called service level management. Now these are the modules which we were talking about. You can create, click on SLA definitions. This will show you the list of SLA's definitions you have created in your instance. Now, as of now, these SLA's definitions are out of the box. I have not created a single SLA definitions as of now. Everything is fresh. So whatever data you see in my whole series, apart from what I'm creating in the video, is out of the box. So these are all out of the box, which was created already by ServiceNow. You might have seen different types as well, like overlay and SLA. We will learn about this as well. So this is overall about service level management application where you have different modules. Please keep watching my this series. So thanks for watching my video. Have a great day.